Distel is South Africa's leading producer and marketer of wine, spirits and flavoured alcoholic beverages with a market cap of 20 billion rand. It was uh, formed from a merger of uh, distillers and SFW in 20, 2001. It is in the progress of growing its uh, presence in North and Latin America, Europe and Asia. It has a price to earnings ratio of 20 and a dividend yield of uh, 3%. Now targeting all those markets, uh, we know how the global economy mm. is looking. Is that the way to go right? now well their business plan is they totally dominate the booze market in this country mm -hmm. you know everything from the spirits the clip drift and all that all the way down through the sort of wine brands and so on the only part of the market they don't have are the sort of boutique wineries in the Cape mm -hmm. so now the market model is to go global so to try and get people in the UK and all these other countries to you know go for South African wines and other sort of distilled spirits and Amarula and all that stuff so I mean it's fine they've got a strong model they've got a good dividend yield the, I don't know how the competition authorities allowed the merger of distillers and Stellenbosch Farmers Winery for what it's worth but I don't know maybe they were sleeping back in 2001 <laughs> because they really have enormous pricing power and it's very hard for anyone who sort of invents a new liquor product to, to, to make it because they've got such strong relationships with all the bottle stores but be that as it may the trading liquidity in the stock is terrible mm -hmm. because of the fact mm -hmm. that it's owned by breweries about 30% and then by Cape Vin, which is sort of a cabal between Remgro and some of their mates in Stellenbosch. Yes. So there's very little liquidity in the stock. So very mm. little liquidity in the stock is something that you'd be getting into right now. What do you feel about it? No, I think from that point of view, we, we, you know, we tend to try to stay within stuff that's, that's highly liquid. And this mm -hmm. is definitely, we like the company, we like the strategy. We think they've got strong management back in them in the form of, of SAB and Capen. But at, at this, you know, the liquidity is not good enough for us to trade in and out of it. So, so we, you, it's not for us. No. So not hot for you. Paul, hot or not? Also distill? not. I mean, it also, for me, if I was going to be in any of these SIN stocks, I would want low PEs and super high dividend yields to reward me for the bad feeling I get from owning them. <laughs> yeah. So I'd want like 10% dividend yield and none of them pay that. It's all around 2-3%. So, so maybe next year. Not hot. Not hot. Okay, so two not hots on distill.